Hello everyone and welcome to part two of the Getting Started series on Adobe Premiere Rush CC. In this video, you will get a tour of the Rush interface. When you open up Rush, you will see all of your current projects available in the project browser. So whether they were created on your mobile device or on your desktop, all of the projects will be synced to the cloud so you can pick up where you left off from any device. You also have the option at any time to turn off this syncing from this project browser. To start a project, simply click on the blue Create a New Project button. And from here, you are taken to the media browser where you can select the media you are going to use in your project. This can be video, images, or audio. And it's important to note that media is selected and added in the order that you select them. So you can preview how your project will be laid out in the timeline at the bottom of this screen. So in a sense, when you're selecting this media, it can help you build your story from the get go. Of course, you can always reorder these clips in the next stage in the editing timeline. Lastly, give your project a name here and then we're ready to begin editing. Now this is your editing workspace. On the left, there is a blue plus button, and here you can add more elements such as titles, more media, like videos or music, or here you can even record a voiceover. And below this, you will find a box icon. This will open up your project panel, and here you will see all the media you selected for your project. And you can hover over this media to scrub through and preview it. And when you select the clip, you can also add it to your timeline by hitting that blue add button. And once you're done with this project panel and want to close it, just click back on the box icon and it shrinks away. And also up here is the home button. And if you click on this, it'll take you back to the project browser. And this is where you can select another project that you're working on, or we can go back to the current one that we're editing just by clicking on it. All right, so now let's go over the preview monitor and controls. So here we can actually move this blue dot and you will see a preview of your video at the time code. You will see that as you move this blue dot, it will also move the playhead in the timeline and it will indicate the exact time code where it's at. And next to this time code, you will see another number and this is the entire duration of your video. You can also use these playback controls to move within your video. And also just a reminder, if you hover over any button, it will bring up a friendly tip that describes what the button can do and also shows the keyboard shortcut if there is one. Next to the playback controls, you can hit this full screen icon to make your playback monitor full screen and then tap it again to minimize it. And next to full screen is the loop playback button. Click on this if you want your video to play again after it's finished and continuously loop. Now next to this button is the most important. You can change the aspect ratio. After you click it, you can change the video's orientation. Right now it's landscape because Rush sets the aspect ratio based on your source media, but you can always change it to a different one. So for example, if you click on square, it will automatically change your orientation to a square aspect ratio. And then you can choose portrait if you wanna create a vertical video, let's say for IGTV. So this is one of Rush's most unique features that I'm super excited about. So I'm going to change it back to landscape as this will be for YouTube. So now that you have a tour of the workspace and your project is set up, it's time to move on to editing in the next section.